Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Matt and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a Gava G3 Studio 5 E-Kit. If you enjoy these videos then please don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future content. Also for all the latest drum news and special features check out drummersreview.com. Following Gaver's foray into the e-drum market with their G9 flagship and scaled down G5 e-kits, the company has recently launched the G3, which Gaver says uses the same high resolution sample library and trigger engine as the G9, but in a more simplified setting and at a more affordable price. Physically, the kit is different to most of Gaver's current e-kit offerings with it looking more like a traditional e-kit by utilising pads rather than drum shells. It features a 12 inch dual zone snare pad, three 10 inch dual zone tom pads and a 10 inch standalone bass drum pad, 14 inch hi-hats, a 14 inch crash and an 18 inch ride with all cymbal pads being triple zone. All of this is housed on one of Gaver's sleek black studio racks with all the necessary clamps and holders included, as well as a hi-hat stand, although you will need your own kick pedal and stool of choice. Rounding things out, the G3 module sits on a special holder on the rack and is supplied with a full cabling loom, which is clearly labeled for ease of setup. Setting the kit up does take a considerable amount of time, especially as the rack needs building fully from scratch, this is made a little more time consuming as there are no included instructions on how to do this, which for anyone who doesn't have experience in setting up a rack system could cause a few issues. Once set, a nice touch that impressed us is the cabling loom. As well as being clearly labelled, it's much longer than most of the e-kits we've played, meaning that there are no compromises when it comes to positioning the pads. This may seem like a minor thing, but one that we found is often an issue with e-kits, as the length of cables determines where you can place the pads in the module. The kit has a suggested retail price in the UK of £1,871, although we have seen it available online for around the £1,650 mark. But before we dive into the detail of the module and the pads themselves, let's hand things over to Nick and hear some more sound samples. Our initial impressions of the kit were really good, with the pads feeling solidly built and comfortable to play, especially for anyone who's played tunable mesh heads on e-kits previously. The dual zone snare and tom pads all feature movable plastic stick protectors on the rims, which although are a great idea in principle, are constructed from quite a hard plastic and could benefit from perhaps being a little softer. That said, a nice addition here is the inclusion of an extra 12 inch protector, which can be added to the snare pad to give you both cross stick and rim shot positioning. 
Moving on to the symbol pads, and we're big fans of the included Gaver E symbols. Modelled in terms of weight on the Peisty 2002 symbols, they feel incredibly natural to play and are super responsive when triggering. They're perhaps not the quietest of e-symbols, with the playing surface being slightly harder than some of the soft rubber pads we've seen, but in terms of realism, this slight denseness adds nicely to the overall playing feel. Diving into the module, and it's an impressive bit of kit. It has everything you would expect, including inputs for all of the pads, as well as two extra auxiliary trigger inputs, mix-in for the audio devices, Bluetooth, USB and MIDI, as well as master outputs and a headphone output. The module contains over 400 high resolution sounds, stored in 40 preset kits, with plenty of space to save and create your own preferred kits. Alongside this you can also load your own one-shot samples into the module via USB. The first time you switch the module on you are guided through a short selection of options to set up the G3 including configuring the hi-hat, which takes less than 30 seconds. Once the initial configuration is done, all of the pads trigger perfectly, although we did spend a little time making a few adjustments to eliminate any crosstalk and double triggering, although this is relatively straightforward, and anyone who is familiar with e-kits should find this a breeze. There's plenty of options when it comes to configuring each trigger to suit your needs, so with a little experimentation you can pretty quickly find the most optimal settings to suit your playing style. Most of the onboard samples are decent, although simply playing the preset kits only scratches the surface of what the G3 module is capable of. Each trigger is independently editable, so any zone of any pad can trigger any sounds you choose. Furthermore, each sound can be layered with a second option, which can be blended with the fundamental sound to create some real depth. For example, one of the most impressive we enjoyed was the ability to layer a traditional sounding snare drum with a sample of an underside snare mic, giving you the options of adding more actual snare wire sound, just as you would in a studio or home recording environment. Alongside this, there are a host of onboard effects, including compressors and ambient room mic options, so your sound can be manipulated even further. With so many options and functions available within the module, it's impossible for us to cover everything in much depth here, but we'd strongly urge anyone in the market for a new e-kit to spend some time auditioning the G3 module to find out just how good it is for yourself. The build quality of the kit is excellent, with special mention going to the Gaver dual ply mesh heads and e-symbols, which combine to give a comfortably familiar playing experience. Although this is Gaver's most affordable e-kit to date, this by no means could or should be classed as a starter e-kit, which we feel is reflected in the £1,871 price tag. While this kit is somewhat of an investment, we'd certainly view it as a worthwhile one, as you get a lot of kit, excellent functionality and almost endless editing possibilities for your money. As a pro kit, it might not be quite as enticing as Gaver's G9 or G5 offerings, especially aesthetically, but as a foray into the Gaver e-kit world, we feel it's definitely worth checking out. But why not let us know what you think? Drop us a comment below, subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future videos, and we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.